Origami Bodybuilder Tutorial by Hideo Komatsu uh, Crease pattern is here, coloured in on the paper um, When I was doing all this colouring in, I realised that it would be much easier to just print off the crease pattern big and then collapse it like that That would be so much easier and I will do that for um, future folds But anyway, we have the crease pattern here A few things to have with you before you start is of course crease pattern and pegs because we're going to be pegging parts as we collapse to make it easier um, to bring together in the end. So hopefully you have everything pre-creased already. I am not showing pre-creasing or um, uh, grid making. I should have said that around the other way. But anyway, we are already pre-creased and ready to go. The grid is a 44 by 44 grid. Um, you could make a 48 and then cut off 4 if it makes it easier. That's what I did. Um, you just need to remember if you're cutting off units, how much paper are you cutting off and can you afford to cut it off because the paper will originally be smaller than intended. So anyway, of the bodybuilder ready to begin collapsing. First of all, we are going to collapse the bottom edges of the paper, uh, the corners, bottom corners. Again, we have the face, the chest, and then the legs, and then the arms are up here. So I'm just going to start off with the bottom right corner, and then I'm just going to make the mountain fold on this edge all the way up basically up to halfway but we'll work on um, this part later as we get there but for now we only need it up about halfway and then the same again let me try this out we're just going to make the mountain fold so we're mountain fold over a mountain fold That, and then the valley fold and then the mountain fold. Like that. Now we are just going to push in this part. And then I'm just going to peg it right here. Like that. And then we're just going to do the same on this side. So we're going to make the crease all the way on the outside. Up to about halfway. And then again, we're going to make this mountain fold. It does seem quite confusing or weird when you do mountain folds over mountain folds. And then that final mountain fold right here. And then just push in this part. And then peg it right here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put the chest in place. Oh, I'm closing them. We are going to put the chest creases in place first. And so these mountain folds we're going to put in place first. We're going to use those. So that is these ones right here. Then we're just going to pleat this all the way over. Like that. And then the 
same on this side. I'm just going to extend them all the way up just to make it easier to collapse. And then all the way down. Okay, and see the creases because I've coloured them in. So anyway, like that. And then we are going to make this mountain fold and this one through the pleats. And then I'm going to extend it all the way. But let me take these off because it is making the paper a bit heavy on the bottom and then just pleat down like that and same again we are going to make this mountain fold and then this valley fold. Let's just need to fold this crease over. There we go. Like that. Now we have these pleats in place. What we're going to go back to is this corner. So we'll start off with this one. So now we are just going to change it from this position by folding this layer over like this and then bring it around like that and show you from this angle we're bringing this edge over utilizing this valley fold underneath And then it comes together like that. And it will lie flat when you do it correct. And then once you do that, you just valley fold down. Like so. Again, just refer to the crease pattern as your best friend when collapsing models. So again, we're going to peg it right here now. And we are just going to do the exact same on this side. So it's the same as before. We had the paper in this position. We just need to flip this edge over and use this valley fold. Like that. Now we have both sides done. We're just going to zoom in and we're going to work on the bottom part. So we're going to open up these pleats at the bottom and then make this entire mountain fold. Because we want this to start and get the paper in the right 
angle because there's a lot of 90 degree creases and 45 is used in this model. So we'll just line them up and they will meet with the mountain fold that we created in the previous step. Now, next step we are going to do is I'll take this peg away, I'm going to work on the right side and we are going to just basically hold it here and then pull it up to make this mount fold, these mount folds. And just wrap that around. Let's take it off as well. I don't think I will peg it actually. So we have this. And then we're just basically bringing it together by pushing up this part. And making a valley fold on these two creases right here, these two diagonals, by pushing that in. So I want to try and get this part collapsed better, so it's easier to work with. So it may take a few attempts. And it's quite a tricky part to collapse, so I'm going to put in a few more creases to help with it. And just on the bottom a little bit by making this entire mountain fold, so we just need to open it up and then form this crease. That's all we're going to do just at the bottom. Because this part is probably the trickiest um, to collapse, so we'll leave that near, near the end. Now we're going to turn it around so the head is here. We're basically going to open it up and then this section right here, we're going to make the mountain fold and then mountain the mountain. So we're bringing the paper into that 90 degree angle, which I've mentioned quite a few times. And we're just going to extend these mountain folds all the way down just so we get this part nice and neat. So, first of all, I'm just going to make this bottom mountain fold. All the way to the edge. And then the valley fold. And I'm just going to extend it all the way down, even though it's not correct at the these parts here. We're not working on those parts. That's the center we're focusing on first. We can always come back and change this. And then we're going to make this mount fold all the way down. And then the same again on the right hand side, I'll just, yeah, flip it over, I think I don't actually, not yet.
Like that. So that is the head. And again, we're going to make the mountain fold the next one all the way down as well. We just want to form this center point so we can peg it. And then this is where we make these mount folds, just on the sides, the two ones right here. I'm going to extend it down a little bit. That's wrong one. So just like that. That's what we're aiming to have. So I'm going to peg it right here just so it doesn't come undone when we work on the other parts. Now, because we have the pleats coming up the way from the abdomen and down the way from the ones we just made on the head, we should be able to open up and we're just going to make Take us off it again, it's weighing down the paper. I think I'll just leave them um, for this part. We're going to make this mountain fold right here. So we just need to push out first of all, like that. And I missed a blue crease here, but that doesn't matter. So, like that. This mountain fold. that and then we're just going to extend it up as well so just like that and then the same again, we're basically going to make this mountain fold and then these two ones here. I want to try and get as much of this part uh, collapsed as neat as possible first. So it should be a bit straightforward to have the pressure that we need from the previous creases. So it should hopefully start to come together. We just first of all want to have the pieces in place first before we try and collapse. So I'm just going to use this and gently push them in place. And then we can push this part out and Pop out this little diamond here. And we will leave it like this. So like that. Now we're just going to look under the chest and we're just going to extend these mountain folds up to the top of the diamonds right here and right here these two mountain folds which will mirror these creases here which should allow us to collapse this part right there, let me put in. these creases back once more 
Okay, so I'm going to peg it right here so the pleats on the abdomen stay and I don't uh, come undone. So like that. So they're held together nicely here and we are just going to bring it 90 degrees and turn in the paper. It was like this, to like this, to bring these parts together, Oops. these creases right here. It may take a few attempts just to try and get it nice and correct. So it's slowly getting there. I'm just going to work it a little bit more because we need to bring, first of all, make this mountain fold and then we're going to use this valley fold and mountain fold which is mirrored to mountain fold and valley fold and then when you make it this will swing down and then cause this part to push over using these creases so I'll do the right hand side first so this side right here like that and then we are just going to push in here and then we're going to bring this part down nice and flat but I don't think we can do it at the moment because it's a good actually but I won't lie super neat let me try this side Yeah, so I won't lie super flat just now, but that is fine. We're just going to re uh, push out these parts. Now, to make this part nice and neat, we're just going to extend this mountain fold all the way up, which is a mountain fold, and meets this point. Same with this side. So like that, and then we're going to grab here and here, and then bring it 90 degrees. So I'm bringing down the right hand side, like that, and then just fold it over. And then the same again. You can even pinch it there just to make it hold in place. And then everything slowly comes together. This is a, a good point to make sure you have everything nice and neat in the chest, to make sure all the creases are correct, etc. And then once you're happy with it, just pinch and make it stronger and then fold up like that so we have basically collapsed the chest now we have uh, basically all in place it's starting to come together we're just going to next open up this side part and then make mountain fold, mountain, mountain, mountain and try and bring this together a bit more neater so I will I 
think I'll extend all the way down first. Then basically once we do this, we can start to unfold these top parts. And put them in place. Because we're doing the centre parts first, just to make sure they are as neat as possible. So it helps to give a nice cleaner look. I think. Yeah, I'll go with this. So basically just like that. That'll be it. more more than enough because then we can change the creases. We can stop it here because they're running alternate anyway. So I'm gonna try and peg this. And then I'm just gonna repeat it on the other side. Like that. So I'm going to peg it on this one. Now I think we should start by putting in these creases. Something about we got because we have the pressure held right here from the peg, we can then use that to our advantage to help slot in these creases because we have it partially collapsed here and here so it should be near enough straightforward. So I think I'm just going to unfold, in fact I'll start here actually, yeah because these are all now uh, changed so we need to slightly adjust these. I'm just going to pull apart these pleats basically like this and then make them to what they should be. Another double mountain fold. You won't see those as much in models. Yeah, and there's a big valley fold here, but we'll get to that one in a minute. I just want to put in as much of these creases at the moment. So it's near enough straightforward box plating at this point. like this for that part and let me see if we can move that in place not maybe not yet yeah so we'll continue to extend these up I was thinking of putting in this one this valley fold the now but maybe a bit earlier I'll have I'll get a bit more collapsed to make it easier
Yeah, and now the mounting fold extends all the way where it stopped, just under here. And I can work on this side. pegs are weighing down the paper but they are helping to hold everything in place I can just fold this part over like that So we have something like this at the moment. I think it's as much as we can do on this part. So I'm going to try and bring this up a little bit more, maybe get this part collapsed and then I'll peg as much as I can here, which will be a real good safe point to peg. I think if I can just get this one in place, then I can peg it right here. So I'm going to peg right here, like that. So this is where we are at the moment. So I can't put this in place at uh, just yet until we have uh, we utilize these creases in here. We're basically starting to form the arm, which is this part. And when you fold this over, this is what you'll see. This part here. The two units will. And then from this side. So what I want you to do is the exact same on this side, everything that we've just done here, right here. Now we have both sides done. Next, we are going to put in as much as we can in these side parts. So let's start off with this side. So first thing we're going to try and do is put in this bar fold and we need to push it down because the creases become uh, reversed so we'll, we'll need to make a 90 degree crease we're just pushing in as much as we can at the moment just trying to reverse each one individually I'm just trying to put in as much as we can at the moment. Have everything in rough position so it will be easier. 
to fully collapse it. That's fine, that's fine. So, something like that. And we've already got that 90 degree angle from looking at it. This position, and then this valley fold ends up all the way to the edge. Okay, so we are now going to just flatten this valley fold and then that makes the mountain fold at the very edge of the paper and then we're going to bring that flat like that by using this valley fold right here, this diagonal which makes it flat so we have something like this so somewhat a lock, it basically locks the paper in a way. And now we can extend the mountain fold and then create the little diamonds. And then just push this part in. So you'll know it's correct when you, do, when you do something like this because it, it basically snaps in place and you can feel, you can tell right away that you've, you've done it. Now I'm just going to do the same with the next mountain fold up and try as best as possible to put this in place. You may just need to adjust some other creases as I do that. In fact, yeah. yeah, I want my super flat. I think I'll leave it at this. So I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm just going to put in these this side. Again, it's the exact same. We have this long continuous valley fold where the creases alternate colours. So we need to push this down. And get that 90 degree angle that we're looking for. And then same again. Let me just see. I'm going to slot in. Right, I'm going to peg it right here, just right there, so we don't lose that angle, so it doesn't snap out. And then I'm just going to force this valley fold in place like that. And then bring this down. And it's, uh, it can be easier to help if you flip the paper over and then make the creases like this. So we, have to, we just did that. And I can press nice and uh, I can tell that when I press it, it's nice and uh, flat, so I know that's correct. Now I can just extend this crease up. And I think I can get rid of that one, that was just there to help hold this in place. And what is happening here? Okay. So I just need to fold up it down. So again, it's easier if I do it from this, this side. Okay. 
fully make these ones again. So once you have this part in place, this section right here, um, try and flatten it as much as possible and then peg it right on top. Have I missed a valley fold here? I think I have. Yeah, I definitely have missed a valley fold. So, uh, I don't think I'll peg actually, um, it's feeling really comfortable. And we can now actually push in this valley fold here just to flip this part over like that. So now I can put this part in, uh, back in place. I'm going to peg it right here, but I'll show you first what I've got. So from that, like that. So I'm going to peg it here. And then I'm just going to push up this mountain fold because it all connects to one continuous mountain fold because we have this, we made that long valley fold we put that in place first at the start Now let's try and get rid of this actually. Right, let me put in a few more in this top part. I can get rid of this one. That's correct. I'll make it easier doing that from the other side to hold in place. I think I'll get rid of this one. Because we can near enough bring the arm together. No fact we can't still not put that in place yet. Zoom in a wee bit. Um, tweezers will definitely help. So I'm just folding this part over. Like that, and we're utilizing the creases on the outside. Okay, now let's unfold that part. We have basically fully collapsed the left side. And everything is holding in place really nicely. We can then turn it around and then we're going to unfold these creases 
here on the head and then start putting them in their correct position. So it should be much easier to do that. So we just need to push in this far and fold. slowly going to um, lock over itself I think, no, I'll put a bit more here actually. Because this part won't fully lie flat until you have it done on both sides. So I'm going to try and put as much as I can before you do it on the other side. So yeah, I'm going to say we're good right here. Okay, we have basically everything in place on the right hand side. Now you're going to do the exact same on the left hand side and then we should be able to fully collapse and lie flat the head and chest. We have both sides near enough in place. What we're going to do now is Pardon me. Um, slowly put in more of these creases on this side. Still need to do a few more on this one, but the majority is there. I'll just keep the tweezers, it's easier to use the tweezers. So I think we could actually Yeah we could collapse these parts uh, so we can actually get rid of the peg finally and we're just going to basically push this part all the way in. If you can see that we have this section right here. If you've got all these in place great. If not, make sure you have um, these in place first because it's all going to help it collapse together and we're basically just going to, again, 90 degree position. And then bring them down. Slowly lie flat. We'll probably get the abdomen done first, then, and then the head. It'll probably make a bit more sense to do so.
So it's near enough wanting to lie flat. Which is good. Okay, I'll just uh, compress these few layers. Just so they hold themselves in place. I know they're all correct, so that's why I'm going to be uh, forcing near enough. I'll, I'll extend this metal all the way down first. So I can try and get this part to lie flatter like that. That is lying absolutely flat. And then I can just press it. Like that. And then that's how they come together. So now just repeat this on the left side. Now we can start to work from the bottom up and basically just slotting in the creases. These ones will be the last ones we put in place simply because it lies flat here and here. And if we just press together, it forms these creases which make it lie nice and flat in the centre. So we just need to form the creases around this part first and we are just basically going to start slotting them, slotting them in. And probably the trickiest part, so we'll do this part first and then uh, the last part on the head and it should all come together nice and flat after that. So again, near enough, just follow the crease pattern. And we're just going to probably easier to do it this way. Because these valley folds bring the paper up together in a 90 degree position. And near enough at that, so it's starting to form the correct shape. So again, keep following the crease pattern. And I'll probably get stuck on this part a few times. So like this. We're going to make this valley fold and then this one here. So this one first. So if you notice the creases are mirrored, creases are mirrored. So if we make this one first and then we're going to slot this mountain fold into the valley fold and sort of like bring it round underneath. So probably easier to just turn it around, make a strong mountain fold where the valley fold is. Like this, and then we are just going to let me see what direction it is. This way. We're just going to fold it over like that. And then form this mountain fold right here. And then just push these ones up. Like that. And then we are going to make a mountain fold on this one just to help put this part in place. So I'm just going to extend it all the way just to make this part easier to do so. Yeah, before I do that, I'm just going to make this little one here as well. So simply make that mountain fold. 
and then the valley fruit. Like that. So straightforward crease right there. And that'll basically lock itself in place. And then we can bring it 90 degrees, slowly push this part in place. And again, if you notice, um, this crease will form inside this one. So we're pushing that all the way up. And then bring it together like that. And then fold down. That. And then we can near enough fold it all in half. So if you've got everything mostly in place, then this part should come together nicely. And there we go, I can feel it starting to come together. So it's, that was actually much easier to do it, obviously I had the, the lines coloured in, uh, it may take you quite a few attempts, it just depends, uh, but that was the easiest I've ever done it so far, um, and very satisfying. So now we are just going to, no you are going to do the same on this side, to keep it nice and even like this. Now we have both legs almost fully collapsed. What we're going to do now is a sort of um, weird move. Um, it's going to be a few of the similar uh, sort of sinks slash closes that we just did right here. Well, the one I showed on this side. So we're basically just going to push in this part right here because we have this valley fold and valley fold. So we're going to push this in and then the valley fold comes down. So we push this in. And then here as well, there's a valley fold right here. So we need to push this in like that. I'll just go over this side just to make these pieces firmer. So something like that. And then I'll just I'll reform these ones. And while I do that, I push this part down and these parts inside. And again it will be easier to correct it on the other side. And then because we have these valley folds right here, we can make the mountain folds and then just bring it together. It should lie nice and flat at this part. Well, not flat, but uh, more collapsed like that. So if we flip it back around, we have something like this. So we're basically just um, alternating the crease colours because they are changing at intersections they result in the paper having different angles. Now we are going to, yeah we're going to slot in this one right here, this mountain fold exactly done as we did right here, we're just going to push in this part and then yeah, so that still stays in place like that, so that's fine. And it'll probably be easier to, to make this crease by near enough collapsing like this.
Right, we'll come back to that part last. I'll just reform and put in these creases that we did on this side. And then we should be good enough to collapse this part. And I'll just flip it around and form them on this side. So we have this one and this one. And I think we can maybe push, flip this one around actually. So this part is going to essentially all come together at once. This part here. Because we first of all need to push in this part again and then bring it up so we have something like this. And then we're going to fold uh, this part over and this part down which should nicely use these creases. Before we uh, try and collapse this, it would probably be better to first of all try and put in these creases in the centre. So we just need to open that part up and just form the mountain folds. Pardon me, so this one, these ones and then these two. And that should have everything in the correct position. like that for this side and then I'm just going to push that over like that this part will come together in the last minute once we bring everything together And like before, we're going to make a mountain fold here and we're just going to hold it and then bring the paper 90 degrees to line up this valley fold right here. Like that. Hold it, hold it with the tweezers so you can see better. And then just fold over. And as we fold over, we will try and push out this part. So we'll be bringing these two edges together to form this valley fold while pushing up to form this mountain fold. And then we are pushing down on this part to use this valley fold and these two and also this mountain fold here so I'm just going to hold here and try and bring this over which I've got that now I can bring this part down and then push this part over Basically using this continuous mountain fold and this continuous valley fold. Like that. So I can hold it here on both sides because it's perfectly flat and then just use that to help everything go into position. I may need to open up some parts just to make sure they're fully used correctly but I'm very happy with that part. Of course make sure yours is much neater than mine. So we're going to do the same again on this side. Just bring the paper together and push that part in actually. Let's 
five pounds on this side. And then same again, we're just going to bring these two edges together. Oh, fact, I've got this one So we're going to hold here. And same as before, bring the paper 90 degrees. And then fold over. Then bring these two edges together. Like that. And bring this mountain foot up. And that is near enough that part. We will fully make it lie flat um, at the very end because before you uh, squash it to make it all flat and neat, uh, double check every single crease and uh, make sure it's all nice and um, how it should be before you actually flatten it. Okay, again, we're just going to reform this part, make this mountain fold by Holding up this layer near enough behind. And then bring in, finally, using this valley fold, which connects to this, which pulls this mountain fold over. So we're bringing this part down. Just need to form this a little bit better. Like that. And I won't lie fully flat because we need to put in um, this centre crease. So we're just going to do the exact same on this side. So again, pushing this part in and then we're going to fold up using this mountain fold and fold this part down like that and then I'm just going to flip it over and fix some of these creases just so it helps to lie flat. I think from the looks, uh, we have all of them already. Now, finally, we are just going to put in the rest of the creases on the top. So just a matter of following the crease pattern, I'm going to unfold the right side because the left side I put in previously, and again, just going to make this continuous valley fold all the way down, and slowly put in the creases. And now we're finally getting to the base of the model. And just keep referring to the crease pattern to help with this part.
once you have near enough all the creases in place, it will all come together at once. It's one of those moves where everything needs to be in place at the same time to uh, collapse. I think I'll try the right side first. So basically now we're just going to make this valley fold, this long one, and then these two pieces are mirrored. So probably easier from the other side, just first of all make that long valley fold and then slot this curve which uses this mountain fold on this side and then we can bring this part down ah, I think I forgot a valley fold to draw in here but that is all good and then we're near enough collapsed. Like that. So we're just going to do the same on this side. So again, flip it over. And we are going to make this continuous valley fold all the way across, which we have. And then bring this part over. Again, always be as neat as possible. Now it's just a matter of pushing in these extra creases to get each side to lie flat. So we're just going to do that. And it should all come together. Now, once you have done those final collapses, you will have the base of the body builder. And hopefully uh, you do have the base. This is a, quite a tricky model to collapse and especially to record and um, to try and show it as best as possible. But here we have the base. I'll show you all the parts. I folded this part over the opposite direction so it lies uh, neater and flatter. You can of course fold it back over but I find it much easier to have it this way. This flap here. Normally it's supposed to be like that but I've got it over this way. This helps to have it neater. And it's, you can tell how all these angles all come together give the final proportions of the model inside. You don't need to worry too much about this part of here because it doesn't get seen in the final model, even at the back. It's nicely hidden. So when you shape, you can hide it uh, easily if you didn't do it as neat.
So anyway, that uh, this, uh, this is part one. Uh, part two, we'll be looking at how to shape the model. And that is me out folders. I need to go make paper for Ryujin 4.0.